Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's LaDonna. Today we're gonna work on another easy uh, home decor project. Um, this is so simple and I believe everyone can do it. Uh, if this is something you're interested in, please stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is two of these uh, uh, fences, uh, little plastic fences that you can find at the Dollar Tree. And uh, we're not gonna need the bottom, the little spikes that you actually use and put, put in the ground. So we're gonna use some utility scissors just to cut those off. And the utility scissors really just cut right through. Uh, be careful because they do break uh, really easily, but um, you can just re glue it. And then we're going to cut off the little hinges that, that you put them together. We're just going to cut those off. Okay. So after you get them all cut off, uh, you're going to use some of this um, wire that they sell in the garden department. At, uh, uh, you can get it either Walmart or, or uh, Dollar Tree. And we're going to use it to put the two together. So I just, if you see where I did it, I just ran some right here, right there. And on the other end, I just put some on there like that. And all I did was just wrapped it around together to put the two together. Okay. Then you're gonna use one of these little flower planters. Uh, some of them are in, uh, some of them are in, in English and then you find these that are, I guess, I don't know what language French? this is, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anywho, you find one that says flowers like this or you find the ones that say flowers in English. So all I did, I guess they are really like, I don't even know what material this is that they used, but they're really easy, easy to go through. So I just take something and just poke a hole, uh, two holes actually. I said that and then today it's not gonna work for me. So, poke one hole right here, and then I'm gonna go over about three inches and poke another one about right here. Having trouble on that one. Okay, so all we need to do is get the holes poked in enough so we can use some of this wire to attach it to the um, the gates. So I'm gonna do about I don't know ten inches maybe. And I just ran it from one side to the next. I probably could have used more than just 10 inches. So let's cut off a bigger piece so we can run it through at least twice.
Okay. I'm gonna go about, okay, so here's the end. I'm gonna go about right here is going to be where my bottom is. So I'm gonna leave at least one little panel or so right there. So all I'm gonna do is, I hope you can see it. And you can see what I'm doing here. I'm kind of doing this kind of awkwardly, but all I'm doing is just twisting it around several times just to kind of get it uh, where it won't slip through. And then I'm going to punch them back in the holes one more time. twist them in the back. If I can, if I can't, then I'll just twist it around some of the little trellises or whatever they're called. it wouldn't hurt if you put a little um, hot glue back in the back of it just to keep it sturdy. And hold it for a few seconds. Then we're going to use the foam, uh, stick it inside and start planting our, uh, our uh, faux flowers. And you can use any kind of flowers that you like. My personal fla favorite, flavorit. <laughs> My personal favorite is uh, hydrangeas, but I'm not gonna use hydrangeas this time. I have actually found another second favorite, and called lamb's ears. I'm really liking the way they're they're so nice and so pretty. So I'm starting to get into those and the Dollar Tree had these green greenery bouquets. I thought those were very pretty and they have some of the lamb's ear but just really small. And then Walmart has this boxwood that I really love and it was 97 cents, but I can hardly find any. Uh, every time I go, I find one or some stores have none. So, but I really like these. And then I'm not sure what this is, but I ordered this from Wish and I believe it was free. I just had to pay for shipping. So probably around $2 for ship, just shipping alone. So those are some of the flowers. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little 
hot glue them just at the base. It wasn't in the way. And then I'm just going to use some scissors just to cut this away. It's just a little bit too long, so I'm going to uh, just cut it. Um, there, you get two dollars, or I'm sorry, these are two dollars, and you get two little. Uh, bushes at it so about the same price you would pay pay for it at the Dollar Tree so I'm gonna cut I don't know if you can see where I'm at but I'm gonna just cut that bottom half off and just bend it a couple times and it should just break and you can just finish cutting it off so like that Now, I'm not a florist and I don't claim to be. I'm just doing it however I like it. So I think I'm gonna pause right here and then I'll come back when I'm finished putting them all in there. I almost forgot. Um, everything I'm doing lately, I've been trying to do a farmhouse look as well as a, uh, uh, my, my glam look. So um, I did one of these already for, my mother and sister so um i use the uh white and some of the brown uh this is uh the truffle color chalk paint from waverly and i used a little of the ink color which is a black and then i also used uh the white and all i did was i just took a um one of these little cosmetic sponges from dollar tree used it as a paintbrush and all i'm doing is just you know just uh wiping it on mixing the three colors together and just trying to give it a, a different kind of look that's all a uh, farmhousey look has a lot of white in it so so that's all I did with that. So I'll be leaving mine black, but uh, as it comes from the store, but the one I did for my mom and sister, I did with the uh, farmhouse look. So anyway, let that dry. And then you would put your uh, your little bucket on, on here. So, Okay, so I'm to this point. Okay. That's how I did mine. Okay, so now with the farmhouse look, Dollar Tree has this little windmill that I thought was just absolutely cute. And all I'm going to do is just cut off the windmill and the welcome part of it and then uh, put that on my little trellis. It is. But. So the Dollar Tree has several different ones of the little uh, stakes or door hang hangers or whatever. So I figured instead of the uh, windmill, because again, the windmill to me just represents a uh, uh, farmhouse look and the butterfly um, won't as much. So I think I'm going to use this one on mine and paint the butterfly to the color I want and also paint this because I'm more into silver than I am the bronze or the gold. So 
I'm going to work on that and I'll be right back. I'm going to take a little bit of the silver and, and uh, put it on just the wing portion and maybe even the back. I'm not sure yet. Let's see. Let's see. You can see it. Let me blow, blow dry that real quick and then put a second. Okay, so I'm going to put my second coat on just the uh, wing portion. And I believe that mauve color or the uh, or the rose gold color may be ballet slipper. I'm not sure. I'm sorry, my eyes are not. But I will list it below, hopefully, if I can see it. but I can take a picture of it and magnetize it, so. Okay, what do you think? Okay, so I bent the wings up just a little bit just to make it look a little 3D-ish, I guess. And then I'm going to go ahead and hang it on to my little trellis or my little garden fence. Okay, so while I was painting, I decided that I didn't like the welcome sign that it came with, that came with the butterfly. So this one came with the windmill and I liked it better. And this is the one that came with the butterfly. So I'm going to use the one that came with the windmill with the butterfly. Okay, so now that I got them somewhat dry, I'm gonna attach them to the fence, okay? Okay, so the butterfly had uh, was attached to the little thing with the with a couple of links of chain. So I'm just gonna take them off. And I decided I wanted mine in the corner. So, let's see if I can get it in frame here. Just gonna everywhere the butterfly touches, I'm just gonna put some hot glue on it. And then the welcome sign.
Okay, so I believe that's it. Let me hang it up on the wall and then we'll look at it and see how it turned out. Okay, so this is the final result. It turned out fabulous. I could probably put this on the front door. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Thank you for supporting my channel. Uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.